All right, I'm here, guys. Let me just do a sound check right quick. All right, I'm here, guys. Let me just do a sound check right quick. Can you see me? All right, that sounded pretty good. All right, so just let me know if you can see, if you can see me and hear me. Just type me a comment right quick. Um, what am I doing here? Let me go here. Da, 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 da. Hey, Bram, what's up, buddy? How are you? All right, so all right, here's the deal. Here's the deal. This is not going to be, um, I'm not going to go a real long time. Um, this, was a, this was last minute. This, was, this here was a last minute idea. The reason that I'm going to stream this is because I know that uh, a bunch of people would yell at me if I did this and you know I didn't record it or stream it or something like that. So I'm going to do this in sections, um, like part one, part two, or whatever. Obviously, it's uh, kind of late at night. It's like 10:20 Eastern time, and I'm kind of tired. Uh, but I figured, you know, what the heck? Let's just uh, do a, you know a little bit of a live stream, you know. So, but uh, yeah, share the video, like it, all that stuff. You guys keep doing that. I'll keep doing the live videos. Hello to everybody. Now, listen, I'm here. It's just me by myself. Um, I'll try to flip back and forth to some of the comments. I'm on Facebook as well. I think I'm streaming on Facebook. Um, but uh, YouTube is uh, where I can, when I glance down, I can see the comments on YouTube only. Um, man, a lot of shadow going on here. I didn't set up a bunch of lights. I just have the, this thing, you know, lit so you guys can see what's up. All right, now let me make some adjustments here real quickly because you don't need to be looking at me the entire time. So hang on. I'm going to, we're going to start working on the sky. So I'm going to zoom in on the up, this portion here, the top portion. Make sure that we are, whoa, almost dropped you. Motion sickness. Don't want to do that. All right. Let's do that. Make sure we're in focus. Okay. All right, so here's what I did. How does this look? How does this look? That's a dumb question. Um, it's a big white thing. Is it bright enough? Yeah, that should be bright enough. It looks good on my phone. You might see a little glare. That's the medium that I put down on here. Um, we're going to start off. We're going to start making the sky on this thing. And uh, yeah, we'll just see how that goes. All right. All right, good to see you, man. Good to see all of you guys. Good evening from Georgia. That's a great idea. Why don't you guys in the comments, while I'm getting started here, why don't you just type, where are you watching from? What state, what, you know, where are you at? What, what part of the world are you in? Looks like a good blizzard. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, all right, so I gotta set the phone down for a minute. And, uh, you know, here we go. Here's my palette. Definitely not going to get to all these colors tonight. I'll probably do part two tomorrow. Maybe there'll be a part three. There probably will be because I'm not going to rush. All right, so these are all the standard colors. Links are down below in the description. Yeah, so hopefully you guys are happy that I, you know, start, started live streaming this. Oh, hold on, I dropped my brush. Because I came here tonight... And, uh, you know, I've been running all for the last week. I've been running like crazy. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go work on this tonight. And, uh, you know, that'll kind of relax myself and calm me down. And I was like, I felt guilty that I wasn't going to record it. So I set this up. All right. I'm not going to I'm not going to sit here and talk all night. I'll start working on the sky. So and if you saw the picture, the. Uh, if you're on, looking on YouTube, you'll see the picture that I put up, the pro, whatever you call it, the uh, thumbnail picture. There's a bunch of trees on both sides, so the sky's focused, you know, right in the center. If you see this glare, there's some areas that are dry, some, some that are wet. That's the medium that I used. And what else? What else? Yeah, I think that's it. This is a piece of canvas. Um, <clears throat> I got this roll, a big roll of canvas from Sunbelt. They sent it to me. 
And this is great stuff right here. You can make your own canvases, and I, uh, I do that a lot. I cut the wood, and uh, you get the point, right? All right, so I'm going to just start off with blue. Blue, 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 and maybe a little bit of black. Maybe a little bit of black to, you know, to, I don't know, gray it a little bit or whatever. All right, now you're going to notice something. I'm not going to hit the edges, okay, because I'm going to fold probably three inches from each side, you know, around the back of the frame because I'm framing this. Or, you know, I'm going to make the actual canvas frame, and I'm probably going to frame it as well. But So, yeah, so you're not going to see me hit the edges. And I'm probably going to start over here somewhere. So don't mind the edges because they're going to look ugly, um, but that's all going to be, that's all going to be hidden. I'm just kind of looking down real quickly to see how this looks. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Yep, just... Uh, just make sure you look at what I'm doing up here. Don't look at me because I don't want viewers to drop off, you know? <laughs> so don't want to be staring at me. So this is cool, dropping in color at 10.30 at night. I got an idea, hold on. It's late, everybody wants to relax. Let's do this. Let's do do that right there. Give us a nice little transition point. And let's see what we got here. All right. There, a little music for you guys. <laughs> I got my own little, little live TV studio here, huh? <laughs> um, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but you know, listen, this isn't really, I'm not really trying to uh, have this great production here tonight. I'm just, I'm just turning the camera on. And if you guys want to watch, you can watch. If not, I, I understand. All right. We'll, uh, we'll worry about, you know, the production side of things during normal business hours, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> a little bit more blue. See, I didn't even have to go over that far, technically, because the whole sky area is... And, you know, something like that. So we'll focus in there. Let me do something. That wasn't part of the plan. What am I doing? I hit a button on my phone. <clears throat> I was gonna, I hit a button. I was gonna send myself uh, something, I don't know. Looks like I was trying to make a comment to myself. All right. Let me stop. I'm gonna take some of this crimson stuff. I don't, I don't this wasn't planned. Um, I don't know if I should do this or not. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'm not even worried about it. Color's good though. Yeah, so what I'm doing is uh, the reason I'm gonna, the reason I'm going to split this up into three or four different parts is because when I'm done with this, I'm gonna make the, uh, the canvas frame and then depending on what size it is, I'll see about framing it, but I'm gonna sell this painting and I'm gonna take, you know, take a little bit more time to do it. Hair there. So that's what I'm going to do. So when this is done, I'm gonna list it. So if anybody's interested in it, keep your eyes out. Keep your eyes out, is that right? Man, I'm so embarrassed to talk sometimes. Keep your eyes out. Can somebody tell me what the proper term is keep your eyes, I know it's something, but it's not keep your eyes out, but that's okay. See, I'm, it's getting nice and super light down here, which is great. That's good news, all right? Keep your eyes open. Thank you, Krista. Thank you, thank you. All right, let me do, it's kind of looking a little dark up here when I look on the monitor. And now don't worry, this is in the ugly phase, all right? 
do not worry. <clears throat> See all these dark spots? I'm gonna come back and hit these, all right? Now I'm not gonna go super long here because I gotta sleep at some point in my life. And I've been running like crazy. Uh, I'm gonna grab another brush here real quick. light color on here. I'm probably going to go pretty close to the edge. You see I'm just getting the color down and that's that's all you really have to worry about is just getting it down first. Get that color on there and then and then you know do what you got to do with it. And I'm real big on that like I just get the color on the you know the canvas or whatever you're putting it on and then work with it. All right. I'm just trying to knock out some of these super areas where it's dark and then it's real light. Because I normally don't, um, when I put the color in, I normally don't come back and then like go over it and blend it. I may do that tonight, like do that, you know, that blend. How do you like the music, guys? Anybody like the music in the background? I'm just gonna get some more of this crimson color here. So maybe this is a good good little addition here. Not sure. We'll find out, won't we? Got an idea brewing up up here in my small brain. Little, yeah, there we go. A little bit of color there. And I'm just kind of working that into the to the blue and the the black. Because I have an idea. And yeah. All right, let me set this down over here. I'm gonna wipe this off. So now remember what I was saying, like it's going to, I'm gonna bend the edges over. So this dark area that you're seeing right here this actually may end up being the top of the picture. So I'm not going to focus too much time worrying about if something don't look right from here up. Even though I'm saying that I'm probably still going to worry about it. I just want to make sure it's not like super dark and then super light. I want it to flow. I want it to flow nicely. And I keep stepping back because um, if there's like one thing I can really just say to everybody that is make sure that you step back and, and when you're when you're creating something because it's so it's so important to actually stand back and just get a you know get that whole different perspective on what you're doing because that could just really really uh, make a big difference in your picture and your mood and, and everything See, I didn't want, I don't want this to be so, I don't want it to stand out so much. So I'm just kind of, I'm just going around and working it in. Just like that. Whew, man, my arm's getting tired. Arm's getting tired. Keep on keeping on. Thank you for sharing your art with us so freely. Thank you, Krista. You're a very, very, you're a very good woman, Krista. Always willing to help with everything. Just always very, very supportive. You're just a very nice person. And I'm glad, uh, I'm always glad to have you, you know, have you around. And I always tell you that. Thanks, Krista. Thank you. I try. I, I try to do what I can, you know. Um, I guess, you know, Technically, I could uh, I could just take every video and you know edit it through the whole thing and then just tell you if you want to watch the full version, you have to buy it. But I don't, you know, I don't want to do that. So I uh, <clears throat> my whole th you know every, you guys know this unless anybody's new on watching. I mean, my whole thing is not I'm not really I don't even think I'm trying to teach you painting because I'm not. I'm not a good teacher, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not a good teacher, you know? And that's the truth, and I know somebody's gonna say otherwise, but 
I'm telling you, honestly, I, I'm not a good teacher. And that's, uh, that's how I see things, right? But I'm not, I'm not here, I'm not trying to teach you how to paint a picture. You know, I'm just trying to teach you how to get through a bad, a bad day or a bad life or a bad marriage or a bad childhood or, or anything. You know what I mean? That's just what I'm doing. You know, I don't, I'm not trying to teach you how to do this. I mean, I'll tell you what I'm doing as I'm doing it. Um, but I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm a good teacher and, you know, and that's just, that's that. So, but I like to think that maybe I could be a good influence. Okay. <clears throat> what was that noise? Hmm. Are you still alive? Yep, I guess so. I don't know what that was. Yeah, I don't know. We're here. I heard a noise. Okay, I'm not going to worry about it. Now listen, if you're seeing these little lines, okay, they're not anything with the camera. That's the actual canvas, okay? They're, they're lines because of the way that it's up against the sheetrock. All right, all right, okay, here we go. I don't want to waste too much time on that. Get this worked in a little bit. And this will be wet for a few days, so we can do what we got to do tomorrow or the next day. Sure, I got my areas covered that I want covered. Okay, I got trees on the left and the right, so I'm not too worried about that. All right. I'm gonna set that brush down real quick and then I'm gonna take, what am I gonna take? Maybe a fan brush of some kind? Sounds about right. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna grab a fan brush now. I'm going to try, this was, like I said, this wasn't part of the plan. I'm kind of going off of topic here, off of the subject that I originally wanted to. <clears throat> I'm just going to take some white paint and I'm going to just pop in some clouds and see how it looks with, with that, you know, crimson in the background. Okay. Feel free to share the video if you guys would like to or not. Whatever you're feeling. I like using the fan brush and I like doing these little circles with the corner of it because it works and it's just, uh, it's very satisfying. All right, um, just popping in some areas. To, you know, I'm not going to get real detailed here because I want to see how it looks, a couple of them. And if I like it, we'll stick with it. If I don't like it, we'll take it down. All right. Hello. Boy, I should do live streams earlier in the day. I think I'm the only one here in the whole plaza, which is kind of creepy. Kind of creepy. All right. Now, just drop some here. See? Just throw them wherever. All right. Now, let me do this. I'm going to grab me. I could probably just take this, this brush here, the dirty one that we were just using. Let me soften this up a little bit. I just want to see how it looks. Now these could end up being like little background clouds or whatever. You know, they could be, they don't have to be like these big clouds that stand out like crazy. All right. Let me set this palette down real quick. All righty. All right, let me just lift this up and see how that looks. <clears throat> Hair. Ugh. Okay, not, not bad. Um, not too bad, right? Not too bad. Da, 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 da. 
getting some more white paint. I'm not going to really hold the palette just yet. I'm just going to get some more white paint on here, and I want to. I'm trying to think where the trees are going to go. I want to make something stand out. Maybe these two little things here. Let's just try to make, I just want to really, yeah, try to make these stand out a little bit more. See? A little layer of cloud right there. Thing. Get some more paint. And then yeah, pop some here. You know, give them some depth, you know. You don't always have to just trace the, the top of the, your design. You can go in the middle, in the center. You can go wherever you want. Let's go here like this. All right, a few there, and I'm going to drop a few on the bottom. Go, see, we got a mountain coming in there. So I'm not going to put any of that, you know, a laser and crimson down there. I'm just going to put some of these little guys just wherever. Just so you know, if you look, you can see that there's something, something there. Now I have a glare I'm dealing with here, so. You see, I'm just kind of just, look, just doing whatever. All right. <clears throat> back to, let's go back to the two, two inch brush. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I'm gonna just uh, do the same, you know, just kind of carefully Go right back over top of this. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to kill it, so I'm just going to kind of hit it once and move on. It'll just stand out a little bit more now, you know, rather than if we just put the the first little layer of paint. Now I keep wiping this off. That's important, I think, because it's picking up. It's you know picking up paint and oil and all kinds of stuff, and you don't want to distribute that everywhere. So I like to wipe the brushes off often. All right. All right, now I'm going to lift them. And then just set them down. Now, it might look like I'm using like pressure, but I'm just like swat swatting it like I'm barely, I'm literally barely touching this at all. Let me step back. All right. What do you think? How's that look so far, guys? Not a bad little sky, huh? All right. Okay. All right, now I think uh, let's do, I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna take the fan brush real quick, right? I'm not gonna use a knife at all. I'm going to, I'm gonna put this mountain in, but I'm gonna do it with a fan brush because you don't always have to have your mountain, you know, put in with a knife. And even though I really, I like that, I'm running out of white paint. I should have put more down. All right, so I got some light color here. I'm going to take uh, blue, some black, get a little brown in there <clears throat> as well, and some this alizarin crimson. Those are good colors to use blue, black, brown, crimson. All right. And I'm going to mix them together. And that should, I got the white here because I'm going to just drag a little bit of it over. And that should give us a very nice, like, I don't know, like a nice pleasant grade blue color. Something like that. Yep, that's just about right. Hmm, that was a good mixture. If I can only mix if I can only mix like that when I was trying to bake cakes, I'd, I'd be in good shape. All right, is that the right color? Yeah, it's the right color. A little bit light. Boy, I even had the right amount of white there as well. <laughs> okay, fan brush. Let me step back and visualize what I'm doing here. All right, this mountain kind of goes. 
It's about right there. Let me just get the big thing out of the way. So this, it, the mountain kind of comes up like this, right about there. Get some more paint. <clears throat> and then we have something happening right around there. And then, looks like we have something there. A little bump there maybe, here and there. Just trying to get some of the main things in that'll help me. something like that it goes off the canvas that way and then yeah you're not going to see any of this but you know it goes up and down and up all right this is a little valley in here a little or a little glacier i don't even know what, i don't even know what you call that you call it something something is in there you see i like putting these little lines um they don't have to be perfect, but they're like directional, okay? They just show you where, where this thing's, you know, kind of going, how it's dropping down. You can hold the fan brush sideways, you know, you know, or you can hold it like this and just kind of slice in different things. <clears throat> All right, let me step back. My arm is going numb. <clears throat> No, I'm holding this pallet weirdly. All right, let me see. I'm just going to step back and take a look. All right. Now I got to do something real quick. I just got to fix this because that just kind of, I want it to go off this way. Even though that's not going to show and nothing over there is going to show. Um, a little bit more color. Now I'm just going to, I'm going to go like this. I'm going to drop in. Let me get a little bit of blue and black. All right, a little bit of dark color. Light's gonna be coming this way, right? So I'm just gonna take the fan brush, and this is actually pretty cool. This is fun to do. Blue, black, nice dark, a dark color, darkish color. All right, I'm just gonna kind of put in some dark. Okay. Just in areas where, you know, it may, it may not be dark. I don't know. We can always change it too. All right. Set the old palito down. And switch back to the two inch. Diana Mulligan, thank you. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate you. That's cool. I can look over. I can see like the big because when you guys when you guys donate, there's like this big color that pops up on the screen, so it's pretty easy. Love this wall painting. Thank yes, thank you, thank you. Now I'm going to take the two inch brush, and I can always add color if I need to. But watch this. I'm not going to destroy everything that I just did. But watch this. I'm going to come in here and just kind of sort of like kind of work it together. All right, thinking about the uh, shape. Now back here, I didn't put color because I want this to be a little further in the distance. So I'd like to have some nice white showing. It'll look, you know, just further away. And like I said, we can always add, <clears throat> add color if we need to. But this is just like the base. This is the under color. Gotta watch the time because I can't sit here and paint all night. All right. So I'm just working this in, just like this. Look, circles are fine. None of this is gonna show over there, so I'm not worried about that. All right, but this is gonna give nice little variation. here do a few circles and then I can come back in I can add a little bit more dark or you know light or whatever I'm gonna and what I'll do that's got to set some goals here in life I'm gonna work a little bit on this mountain yeah I need a little bit more maybe a little more darker color I need some more blue blue in here so let me grab some blue and some white on the fan brush and bring some color into my life 
because color is a good thing to have in your life. Tracy Buford, thank you. Thank you very much. That means, it just means a lot to me. Um, never like asking anybody for anything in, in life, but um, I gotta be honest with you. That stuff really, really helps, um, just helps me to further what I have, what I'm so passionate about doing that I can't even, uh, I can't even explain to you all um, how passionate I am and how many, just how many things I want to do. Um, it's very, it's just hard to explain. So I'm just trying to show you my best. I'm trying to do everything that I can do um, within my means and I thank, just thank you. Thank you very much, Tracy. Kind of speechless here for a minute. Just give me a minute to get my gears together. Okay. All right. Got some of this working in. Now remember, none of this stuff is really going to show over here. Okay. Leave some of that showing with that nice white area in the back there. Fix that up just a little bit. Let me get some white paint in there. Wow, I still can't. I still can't believe that. Thank, thank you, everybody. Um, just thank you. I wish, uh, I wish everybody really knew how grateful I was, am as a person. So maybe one day I'll. I'll really somehow be able to show everybody how grateful I am. All right, here we go. Here we go, guys. All right, now look, I just soft, softness of the mountain is coming into play here, okay? Now we're gonna start putting some mountain colors on and I think, all right, I think, um, yeah, well, let's just work on this mountain a little bit, right? One thing at a time. And I'm doing, I want to do good on this one because I'm selling this painting. I'm definitely selling this painting and, um, you know, I haven't really, uh, haven't really sold any paintings in, in a while and, um, you know, I need to sell some, some paintings. So I thought this would be a nice little start, okay? Bring hopefully somebody some joy into their home the fan brush I just want to get rid of that hard line up here which is probably not going to show too much because um, it's going to have some highlights and other things going on it all right let me just hit here real quick it'll make me feel better kind of break that up a little bit Yeah, I don't know. I saw that, Krista. I don't know what that was. Sounds like uh, maybe uh, maybe he should be removed. I, I actually just looked down and saw that. A lot of spammers, you know? hate that. All right. I don't want to bore you guys with this. Let me set this brush down, okay? And now, let me see right about here. What should I do? Okay, I know what I should do. I'm trying to think. I don't know. It's like I want to resort to the, I want the knife in my life right now, but I, but maybe I shouldn't, you know? Maybe I shouldn't have the knife right now. So let me do this. Let me go to, I'm going to get a three quarter inch uh, synthetic brush. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Krista, I don't, I don't know if you can remove him, uh, but I, if you can do it, I would just do it. If not, I will afterwards. Um, all right, so I got this three-quarter flat brush, and I, and I don't want to have the standard old 
mountain with snow on it, right? This is what I'd like to do. I would like to, I don't even know, I'm like saying, this is what I'd like to do. I don't even know what I'd like to do at this point. I'm gonna take, um, I'm gonna try this though, brown. And I'm gonna take a little bit of blue in the brown, a little bit of black. So blue, brown, black, and then let me scoop. Oh, that's nice and thick. Yellow ochre. All right, so this is like some blue, brown, black, and some yellow ochre, get some white in there. This is like a brownish, just a, you know, a dull brown color. And let's see how this works. Because I don't want it to be super vibrant yet because it is far away. All right. <clears throat> and I'm gonna start dropping some color in right up here. And I'm just using this brush to just kind of you know, slice that color in. And now that's not showing up too great. So I'm gonna brighten it up with some white and a little bit more of the yellow ochre. So it's a little bit lighter, a little bit more yellow ochre in the mix. All right, let's see. I mean, it's supposed to be a shadow colored, so it's not, well, it's not a shadow color, it's just the darker of the colors. Um, Let's see here. Maybe if I hold the brush like this a little bit. See little things like that and we can soften some of this up. Now this is gonna be in steps, okay? We're gonna do this in steps. You know, we'll have one tone and then a different tone. You know, I wanna take my time on this so whoever you know, whoever ends up getting this, they, you know, they like it. Some of this is going to be hidden. And I'm still, this is like a, a mid or medium tone or whatever. It's not like a highlight or anything. But I'm just trying to drop in areas here that, you know, will look nice in the painting. Hey, can you guys hear the music in the background? Let me know if you can hear the, the music. And then we need something back here. Like right there. Okay. And this is so much fun to do. Um, this is just fun. All right, these all these little subtle things happening. And you see, I'm just I'm not really like I'm just you know kind of just uh, just getting it in there, you know. And I'm going to step back here in a second and and just kind of see where I'm at. Okay, that's uh, that's good and great there. I'm going to soften that up just a little bit. I think would be the smart thing to do. Now the question is, what do I do it with? Do I do it with this two inch? Let's see what this does here. Let me just, because I got a lot of other colors to put on here, okay? I'm just gonna see how this looks. Because, you know, when, it, when a mountain is far, far away like this, you know, you really shouldn't have like these crisp, uh, you know, details on it, okay? You want things to be somewhat blurred a little bit. And that's what I'm doing. Like if you had a blender brush too, I would actually, if I had one right here, I'd probably use it and just softly go like this with it. Or do like little circles. I'm leaving this little white area down here because that's going to stand out. Now whether if we get to this part tonight you'll see what I'm talking about. If not you'll you'll definitely see why I'm leaving this white right here. It's going to really stand out. Okay so that's looking like a pretty good platform right there so far. Righty then. Now let's see. I'm going to set the palette down real quick. <coughs> Let 
<clears throat> I'm just going to wipe my brush out real quick, and now I'm going to, you know, I better, what should I do? I should probably grab a little bit of white paint. Got to keep, got to keep an eye on the time, so I don't go all night. All right, I just got a little bit more white paint. That'll make my life a little bit easier tonight. All right. All right, so I'm going to get some white and yellow ochre, okay? White paint and yellow ochre. See white and uh, this yellow ochre. I poured this out the other day. It's a little rough. <laughs> A little rough. White, yellow ochre. Let's see what this does. Okay, here we go. Now I want to start working on a few highlights. So I'm going to hold the brush like this, right? And I'm going to drag it. And this is going to give, you know, so hopefully some, some texture and things. And i got to get more paint on the brush to do this. Yellow ochre and white. Okay, because I want this to show. Nice little corner right there, see? And now I'll just, I'm gonna kind of like just, I should probably slice in a few little areas actually first before I go drag in the brush. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, it's a much better move. I'm just kind of, you know, just working this brush in working this paint in, okay? And there's no, no shadow color as of yet, right? But we got something going on. I know, I don't think this is gonna show back over here, but I'm just gonna put something, just something here, just so we know something's happening. Okay, maybe some lights hitting right here on our friend there. Yeah, lights hitting this way, so maybe there is light, hit, look, hitting, hitting the top of this. All right, and I'm, I'm being like kind of loose on this one here, like, you know, just kind of whatever. What the heck? Um, okay, sounds like a race car is outside. Um, I need some more ugh, yellow ochre. <laughs> this is so funny. This is like almost all the way dried up. It's all right. I'll, I'll figure it out. I want some little color here more color, see? Like, it's almost straight yellow ochre. Let's do this. This is fun. <laughs> I like doing this. This is cool. Just putting little different textures and things in. Dun, 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 dun. Just gonna keep doing this until I'm, you know, until I feel like, until I feel like it's good. But yeah, you don't have to, you know, you really don't have to always use the knife. You know, you don't always have to. Um, now, even though that's farther away, let's, uh, let's do this. Let's take some black and some brown. All right, some nice black, brown, touch of blue in there, just so it's not pure black. And let's see what this does for us. A little bit more blue in there. And brown, most importantly. Let's see here.
just gonna, you know, I'm gonna try to get some, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Depth or <laughs> three, di three dimension, dimension, I don't know. So I'm just putting some color in, some of this darker color to see how it looks. Lighten that up. Actually, I'm going to take some white, blue, like a light blue color. I want to see something real quick. See, I like to experiment with things as well. Like, you know, you never know if something's going to work unless you try it. You know what I mean? Right. You got to try things. I went back to the dark color. Let's just get the dark in real quick. I'm just going to get it on here like this. Sprinkle some dark. That's not going to show over there. I keep saying that. You're probably like, why do you keep going over there then? Soften this just a little bit there and here. Just so it's not so detailed. Yep, soften this side as well. Do the same thing over here. I'm just softening it now. I'm using the same brush. I'm just kind of bringing every, like everything together. Carefully though, you don't want to ruin your colors, you know, or you don't want to blend them in and just make them, you know, all disappear or whatever. This is actually working pretty good. All right, let me set this down real quick. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> um, you have to, um, <coughs> if somebody, <coughs> I'm sorry, so sorry, I'm coughing. You have to let me know, somebody please let me know. How does, how is that looking at this point? I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna come in here with this two inch real quick. I just want to soften it a little bit more. All right, now I'm going to set that down. Let me grab. Um, all right, I'm going to grab up the knife real quick. All right, and. Let's see how this works. Let's try some yellow ochre mixed with white. There's a little bit of dirt in there, I guess. Let's see how this works. Um, maybe just for a little, you know, in a couple spots, it probably wouldn't hurt to have a little bit of detail, right? Just a little bit. So maybe drop in a little bit of, little bit of something. Just using some like yellow ochre and white. I'm just gonna touch a few little areas here. Let's see how it does. Okay. 
now I want to make another little you know thing here so let me get some more yellow ochre and white have a little second area here, see? Okay, now I want to try to <clears throat> wipe that off. I want to try something here. I want to try to almost get like a little bit of a shadow color, blue and white very strong blue and white, and I don't know if this is gonna be good or not, but I wanna try it. Right there. Okay. And then maybe we can have some here too as well. Maybe. Maybe we can live with that. A little bit more blue. All right. Let's just maybe drop a little bit in the mix in here. Just some blue and, and white. <clears throat> blue and white. Just want a little bit. I don't want a whole lot. I don't know. I'm just. I just want some of this color in there. Let's do this. Very, very, very light blue. Very light blue. Maybe. Yeah. For some back. Okay, now I'm going to wipe this off. Take a little bit of white. Back here. I want to drop something on back here. Like a subtle, a subtle something, you know, back there. And then it's maybe something here. And like I said earlier, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna fly through. I just wanted to make that, I wanted to make a nice, try to make a nice mountain if I could. Something nice. And I want a little bit of sparkle right there. Just a little bit of white on the top. And then. Maybe something there. That. And then you can always do this. You could always take um, yellow ochre, almost like a straight yellow ochre, I guess, like pure. And then, you know, you really could just put a little sparkle right there, you know. Hmm. All right. I'm just going to dull that back down a little bit. <laughs> okay. 
dark color. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's go back. Let's try this. Let's go back to the two inch brush real quick. And then I'll soften this up again a little bit. Super soft back there because that's far away. You can actually drag that down a little bit <laughs> like this. Softening that up a little bit. I could probably just do circles. All right, now. All right, so that looks pretty, you know, that looks okay. It looks, you know, fairly okay. Now you can take like, you could do so many things and I'm not, like I said, I'm not rushing. So you could take, I'm going to take the three quarter brush, right? And a little bit of white paint. There we go. Yeah, some white paint. Now look, touch of blue in it maybe. So like you could make like, you know, like snow just kind of like coming down this little mountain or whatever, see? And then you can go like in the back, real far in the back if you want. Like these are little things that you should always try to experiment with. Like, you know, the snow is coming down like from this way. You know, it's coming down there, it just kind of wraps around the whole mountain. You could just build it in there to come, you know, it's coming down, it's like a little, it's all, it's all meeting at the bottom. Or whatever. You know, just little, whatever, little things like that. To get some white paint, and I gotta, I gotta find a good, you know, stopping point here soon. All right, I'm gonna take the th probably just the three quarter. 
the same old three quarter brush. I just want to get some white paint on here real quick. And mainly in this area here, I just oh, it turned yellow pretty quickly. I just want to get some white, make sure I have white paint in here like this. Let's go to this two inch real quick. All right, now I'm going to, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to um, <clears throat> like kind of sketch in where we're going to be heading next with this, and we'll see how that's going since we are losing viewers. Am I still even live? Yeah, I think so. Sounds like I'm live. Okay. All right, so now the back we have, da -da 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 -da. we have something going on back there. Let me just get some dull color. I will get some, some blue and some black and some, a little bit of green, why not? Just a very distant, dull color. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get, phew, time flies. Okay, here we go. So now I have something in the back, and it doesn't have to be exact. There was definitely, you know, something back here, like a little valley of some sort that ran off the canvas, like somewhere there. And then let me just map in some one of the bigger things here: blue and black. I'm going to darken this color up: blue, black, nice green, more green. Now, one of the main things, and this kind of went, here was the one ledge. It kind of came right up here, and then it kind of drops down like that. <clears throat> drops down like this, and then it goes around, right about there. And that ran off the canvas. This was a nice little piece of grass. Put some highlights on that later. Boy, it's getting weirder by the minute out here. Okay, and then we had, now there's a river or something that kind of flows through like this. And it goes right off, well, a little higher probably. It flows right off the canvas like that. All right, and then the other portion of it, because it kind of, let's see, where it came from back here somewhere like this. So it wrapped around this way, and then it kind of, <clears throat> let me get this perspective right, it kind of comes towards us. Yeah, like this. Something about just like that, all right. I had some weird looking rocks and stuff back here. I don't think I'm going to keep them. I mean, I'm just going to sketch in, you know, something. There's something there that runs off the canvas that way. All right, maybe, maybe that's a little hill that drops down. Okay, like this. Let me get some blue, black, green. All right, this is some land here, right? Some land, just kind of right into the river there. Little river bed. Kind of comes up like this. I need some more paint. Blue, black, green. I want this to go like this. I don't have to worry about down there because I'm definitely going to be folding that over. Goes right like this. Right like that. There. And our little 
river's going to, yeah, just go like this. Right behind that little hill there. So then we'll fill all that in. Not right now, but we'll, you know, you get the point, right? And then <clears throat> it looks like, let me do this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Man, my throat is messed up. I'm going to get me some green, some blue, and some touch of yellow, maybe. Just a weird color. Some white, dull it until it looks right. Now, I, I want some stuff in the background. Um, so it looks like there was definitely some darker areas in this one. So maybe just, so I want some stuff to show, but to see, I'm just going to put some stuff in like this. All right. When you're not sure, you know, about something, you know, just try to relax a little bit, you know, and just, just get it in, you know what I mean? I want to leave some, you know, some air, like airy, airy leaves or whatever that that's called, air, airy, holes in the, the darn leaves. All right, just want some background stuff happening there. Okay. And if you want, you could do this too. Watch. You could take that background color and just have like little, you know, indications of what you know something's going on back there. Some of this will show through. This is just background. You know. forget canvas is going to get cut like folded like somewhere around there now this is cool I like this because it's like a nice little river and it's going to go it's going to come here it's going to drop down like this then there's going to be another one of those thingies and that kind of comes down it looks like it looks like on an angle about that and then it looks like there's another one here somewhere around there and they just drop and then there's some land and I'm just doing like a loose sketch and this is like in my opinion the best way to do it nice old little sketch you know just it just helps Got to put some stuff on the other side real quick, some background stuff. Let me do that real quick. Um, You know, and I'm not doing any crazy details or anything. I'm just getting the color in, you know. Just getting the color in. Steve Sippler. Steve Sippler. Oh, my beautiful woman. There she is. Howdy. Hello. What do you think about this, huh? Tell me. Come on. Talk to me. I see that. Wow. Yeah, that's good. That made my whole night right there. Made my night. Just see the things like that. Like, thank you because... You just, you just pumped me up. Mm, love that moment. Just some indications. These are just indications. Remember what I was saying earlier? Background material. This is all background. Believe it or not, this is just, yeah, this is just background material. 
And I'm going to show you something pretty cool here in a second. Can't wait to see it in real life. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Well, hon, I got to be honest. I told everybody when I started this tonight, I wanted to do something nice. So this is going to be done <clears throat> in three or four parts because when I'm done with this one, I'm going to, I'm going to sell it. So I wanted to make sure that I, you know, do it nicely. So this painting will be for sale. And honestly, I don't know the size of it. It looks to be like at least five feet or six feet wide by five feet tall. All right. So once again, this painting, I'm going to sell this when I'm done, when it's all said and done. Now I'm going to show you something cool, guys. I'm going to show you something cool since now I'm all in this great, great mood. Oh yeah, it is on, it is on the wall, but here's the cool part. I thought ahead and like all the other ones are on the wall, <clears throat> I put the canvas on the wall so this way it could be removed. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, here we go. <laughs> so yeah. All right, check this little trick out. So this is background material, <clears throat> right? But if you want to have a little bit more detail, you could take this, you could take like a two inch brush, right? And check this out. And this will just add like little things. Let me show you up here. Watch this. See, I'm just tapping. I'm tapping into my little, whatever this foliage or whatever this stuff is called, right? And I'm just, just tapping every which way. And you could just add like so much more little details and it's just neat. So you put the color down and then you go back with a little brush and just, you know, give it some, give it a little love. You know what I'm saying? All right. It'll look more like background material as well. We got big old trees coming in here, so. Not worried about that, all right? Let me do the same on the other side. Doing that, uh, yep, I am doing that. And I'm actually, so when I'm done with this one here, I'm gonna pull this one off the wall and then the wall is all framed out and ready to go. So yeah, I think we'll be good. All right, let me just give some love here real quick. <laughs> oh my goodness, I gotta tell you, like, I, you know, I get excited when I'm painting, but there's like nothing better than to like, yeah, have the woman that you love the most like to watch. It's just so great. I get so excited. It's just crazy, you know. Over 24 years later, and I still get excited, like just by the li tiniest little compliments, like, oh, that looks so nice. And I'm just like, I just get so excited. But yes, I love my wife. I have a great wife. Eric B's in the house. Eric B won the one uh, painting recently. <clears throat> the recent painting, the live stream. Um, okay, let me just, I wanna do something cool here for you guys real quick. I just wanna show you, give you a little idea of where this could be going, okay? So, <clears throat> all right. I'm just wiping my brush off real quick. And I need to get, <clears throat> excuse me, I need to get some dark color real quick because I want to, I want to get some, uh, let's get some of this mud. I want to get some blue, um, some black, and some green. All right, that's fine. How's that looking? Yep. And I got to get some color on here onto the canvas. This is just easier, you know, this just kind of helps me uh, get it on a little bit easier. Use, use the knife if you need to, you know, nothing wrong with the old knife. All right. I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm just going to do this here. Maybe I'll put some there. All right, now, um, blue, green, black, that's 
try to get a little bit more in there. And I'll tell you a little trick. You could scrape the paint off and use it in other areas. This is like the maximum way to save paint on a big painting. Use your knife. See the dark stays inside the grain. See that? Now I got a whole roll of paint. See that? I could just keep taking that roll and just, I could work with that roll all day long. All right. <clears throat> Alrighty then, let's do this. Here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry if that's loud. I've been coughing tonight for some reason. Got a dry throat. Okay. So now I'm just going to real quickly watch. I'm just going to swirl this brush around. Getting the color down, see? See, I just want that dark color to get down on here. And I'll, you know, I'll do stuff with it in a little bit. All right. Um, one thing real quick, knife and some blue and some black. I just need to for just because we want some depth. It's got to have a little bit of dark Ugh, right about there. Knife down back to the old swirly twirly. Mm -hmm. Okay, stop humming because I got music playing. Um, okay, that's really not going to show in the back. Let me tap on this a little bit. I just want to give you guys a little preview of, of where this is you know, going to end up going. All right. I'm going to make a few little grassy things right here. See, this is always good to do. See that? I don't know if you could even see that. I'm just making it so there's not a straight line or anything like that, okay? Now, we got something going on back here as well. I'm actually just gonna take my brush real quick. And I'm just gonna tap, I'm gonna tap something in here. Just about like this. See, distant trees, see? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, probably should have did this side. Hmm? No, it's all right. The light may still shine and hit that. Um, okay, I could probably do a tree first. I'm not going to do that because I want to show you what I'm doing. Let me get another brush real quick. I'm going to take the two-inch brush and two-inch brush. Here we go. I got a different two-inch brush, and I just want to show you, like, I get so excited. Let me get the knife and some yellow. I want to show you the highlight process, okay? And this is something like two that we're going to work on on part two and three or four, whatever, is the highlight process, which is one of my favorite things to do. So I'm just going to tap into some color here. I don't want to blow your eardrums out. I'm tapping into some yellow paint. It's turning a little green, which is fine. Let me set the palette down and do that. This is fun, so you want, might want to pay attention to this part. This is totally cool. All right, here we go. Now, this is what defines what's happening here in our life, right? Watch this. All-time favorite. This is where we determine where our hills are, okay? Now, in my videos, this is like, I, I'm real big on this, okay? Showing you things, all right? Watch this. So we had a hill there starting the top. Watch this, we're gonna start at the top here of this one, right? This one's gonna kinda, this one's gonna kinda come down like this, all right? And then I said we had another one kind of branched off a little bit. This one was a little bit lower. He kind of came down like this, right? Like a glove. 
like a glove. Softer taps on the bottom. All right, this is going to help me determine you know, which direction this hill is. I want you to see what I'm doing here. I want you to see what's happening here. Okay, it's taking place right between, right, it's taking place right in front of your eyes. Okay. You know what? See? Okay, now this hill's gonna drop down. It's, they all go down, right? I'm turning my brush. See how I turn it? You got to turn it and the angles that you want it to go in. So I'm making these nice little slopes. Now, back to some more paint. And then, <laughs> big blob. You're always amazed when I turn a big blob. I know, right? Thank you. Appreciate that very much. Now watch this. See this little, this big blob right here? Check this out. First of all, perspective, I need to extend that down just a hair. Now, I'm thinking about my, my land here. Watch this. So I'm going to put some, I'm going to start dropping some color here. Now this is like going to be section or, you know, part two, three, four, or whatever, but I just want to show you how cool this is, right? So we can come here and we want to say, you know, there's some grass here, a little piece of land. And then we have another one that kind of goes like this. And it's important to leave some little bit of dark area right here so you can identify, you can identify what's happening. You know what I'm saying? It's that easy. It's that easy. All right. A little bit of something there. All right. Now I'm turning the brush. I can't tell you how important that is to turn that brush. Now I'll stand back and I, I want to define certain things. Like watch this. I want to make a certain part of this hill stick out a little bit more. Like I want this to stand out right here. So I put a little bit more color right in there. Because I want that to, st I don't know. I just want that to stand out a little bit more. But I keep stepping back. Super important. See? Little subtleties right there and here. Little branches. And watch this little hang. You can even have some that hang off. See? See that? You know, just a couple things. They hang off now. See? All right. Back into the color. Back into the color. Stamp a few little highlights up here on the background material. And I'm going to go into some very, very light, so like a white, green, white. And let's see how this looks real quick. <clears throat> nice little distant color. See? Let's do a little white. There we go. All right, that's like further away, so it's going to be a little bit lighter. Okay. Now. Um, all right, so let's say I'm trying to look at something here. I, I see one thing I got to change real quickly. All right, so when I, I always think about like perspective, right, and how things should look in through my eyes. Um, yeah, I, I think this should be a little higher right here. That should be a little bit higher. It should be a little bit higher. Don't mind me, folks. It should be a little bit higher, yeah. You know, just uh, looking out for my life here, being all alone and stuff, you know. Hmm. 
All right, tree time. All right, here we go. I gotta, I gotta move right along, right? What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, three quarter flat. Three quarter, let's do a three quarter. All right, now listen carefully. Listen carefully. You don't have to listen at all, actually. You can just watch carefully. You don't even have to watch if you don't want. I'm gonna put a tree in, right? Here we go. <clears throat> and this is definitely gonna be the start of part four or three or two or one or whatever part we decide. So I'm just gonna take some brown and some black, right, to start with. Brown and black. Brown, black, brown, black. And I'm gonna just start dropping in a couple of trees. Now these son of a guns are pretty big looking. So let's, we gotta start with one right about here, okay? You just gotta get that basic tree shape in, you know? Don't, like, I don't, I try not to think too much about it. I just try to get it in. Yeah, let's get it in. See, you just get that shape up there, all right? And then I'll go back with some darker color, nice dark color, and then darken it up a little bit. Now, probably use a filbert, would probably be a little bit better, maybe a little bit easier, just because this canvas is wet, or you can hold the brush sideways. See that? Yeah, that's the ticket. That's the ticket. Okay, let's plant this tree right there. <clears throat> you know, and then just, you know, just have a little couple things real quick. What kind of trees are these? What do I got going on here? All right, I'm just trying to give you a quick, quick demo of what's uh, gonna be taking place tomorrow at some point in my life. Okay, there's a, there's a that. All right, here we go. Um, I'm gonna put a highlight on this tree. And what do we got here? Snow gray. Well, thank you there, snow gray. I appreciate, uh, I appreciate that. I appreciate, uh, listen, all you, anybody, all you guys that donate, like it's, you're doing a good thing um, because you're allowed, you know, it, it helps me continue to go on. I say that all the time, but it's the truth because it's the truth. And listen, got to be honest, I've, uh, I've been close. I've been close to having to step back um, recently um, from all of this, okay? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I've been very, very close to stepping back from the whole painting thing. So I want you to know that I'm, I'm doing my best to not do that. Okay, I want you to know that I'm, I'm doing my best. That's it, I'm really doing my best. And uh, I'm gonna stay here as long as I can, guys. Here we go, here we go, three quarter. I'm just gonna put, I'm gonna put some highlight on this thing and then I'm gonna make a few branches. Now watch this, see that highlight right there? Highlight. Highlight. And I don't wanna sit here and I don't want to talk about that, you know, on live streams or whatever, um, because, you know, I've talked about stuff like that a few times and I've completely got shit on by people. Um, but I think it's important for me to mention it sometimes. So if I do, if I have to leave or, you know, disappear or, or whatever, at least people will have some kind of understanding of, of why. You know, I'm, just because I'm human and I have all the, same responsibilities that most humans have, you know, so very touchy subject. Putting some dark over here and I'm gonna drop some leaves in. I just wanna show you, now I'm not gonna rush. This is gonna be, you know, tomorrow's part, you know, the rest of the trees, but I'm just giving you a little teaser, teaser, <laughs> like yeah, giving you a teaser, like this is some great content or something, right? No, I don't think so. All right, um, let me look back here. I think I used, I think I used a uh, filbert possibly. Let me grab a filbert. All right. Here we go. All right, so as far as the leaves, you wanna take um, a dark green. So we wanna take a green with like a dark blue. All right, we gotta have a dark leaf. In order for, in order for the light to show, you gotta have dark, okay? And here we go. 
Yeah, I did use the filbert. Now these were weird leaves that I made. This painting, by the way, was a long time ago. I did like these little flicking motions. All right, like this, and I just kind of back into the color. All right, and then see, I'm just kind of this is a little baby branch here. Now I'm not, I don't want to go crazy on the trees because um, there's a lot of them and I want to make sure that the placement is, is correct for them, you know, but I just want to show you, looks like I should have, let me just make a quick uh, trunk real quick. It looks like I should have something over here too, something like that. We'll put the branch in later. Okay, blue, green, but you see what I'm doing? I'm just kind of doing a little, like a, I don't know, little circles or something I'm doing. All right. Something like this there. All right, something like this and that. You know what I mean? Um, actually, let me do, hold on one second, hold on one second. Here, you come in. I'm on a live stream, but come in. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's cool. Now, that's good. This way, I, I was just doing, so I don't have to worry about getting killed out here at night yeah. by myself. So. I seen, I seen the floor, I was like, yeah. I went over to a friend's house. And she worked yeah. I, I came back by and I seen your light on. Yeah. So you see, all right, so you guys can all see the dark. You can see the dark part, right? So watch, I don't wanna, I don't wanna ruin all this for tomorrow, but look, I'm just gonna show you. Let me just put a few little more dark areas in here and then just show you what I'm talking about. All right, so you gotta make sure to, you know, you gotta make sure to watch tomorrow too if you want or not, either way. All right, that's just, this is gonna be just one tree right here. Let me wipe this brush off real quick and I'm gonna get a lighter color with the same old, same brush. And we're gonna probably have, uh, there's looks to be like eight or 10 trees in this other one that I'm doing. So, so now I'm going to, I'm gonna take uh, just like a yellow, pretty much just yellow. Get in here and get some yellow. There's some green in there. All right, and I'm gonna come up here and then just kind of lights coming this way. You know, so I'm gonna just get some of these little light areas put in. <clears throat> get some paint there. You see? So I'm just picking out just a couple areas. You could, you could swipe it like I was doing, where you can push direct. I just like the old swipe. I've always done that, where I just take it and I just swipe it. It's a very fast motion, and uh, it's my favorite way. <clears throat> Put some there, like this. little drifters there but you see like the faster you go the better I think at least that's how I feel now let me show you something else here let me grab let me grab the knife real quick and then I'm gonna grab um, I got some dirt laying around here I'm gonna grab just a light it's like a white grayish something color all right and lighten it up a little bit yeah let's see how that looks hmm a little yellow ochre or something in that as well. All right, here we go. So watch this. So like the light's coming this way, right? So now I can come in here. You could take a knife if you want, and then you could just you know, drop in uh, to help define this tree. You could drop in some nice little colors and, and things up here. You could put some, see? So you could see the trunk. You know, maybe there's a little bit in there you can see there. And remember that little branch that I just kind of made? You see some there, right? And then, you know, you can just take the point of this knife and just make little, see little branches and things going through here and there. And little things sticking up and sticks and all. You know, there's all kinds of stuff that, that you can do. This is just one of the demonstration trees. 
if you like this tree, you know, this is definitely uh, something that I'm going to be uh, doing tomorrow for sure. Uh, let me see. Okay, so now that grass, that grassy hill real quick. Let's just say for a minute you wanted to, I don't know, you wanted to throw some, like some rocks in or something. All right, let me just show you something real quick. Let me just get some nice brown, like a grayed brown color. It's very simple. If you want to have like some rocks in here, I got a nice grayed brown color and I could just simply, you know, just carefully put a few little things in there and they'll turn out to be, they'll look just like, you know, rocks when you're looking at them from a distance. You know, they could be growing in here like this. You know, there's all kinds of things you know, that you can do, you know, just like little, in, just the small indications will really help the most, you know, whenever you're, uh, you know, whenever you're standing back and, and you're looking. Uh, let me see here. What else? What else? What else? I'm not going to fill this area in. I'm not going to fill that in tonight because there's a lot of stuff on there. I just, this is like one of the little demonstration trees for, that we're going to be doing tomorrow. I think this is going to be like at least two or three parts, probably, because I'm taking my time, I'm, I'm enjoying it, you know, I'm not, I'm not rushing through. And most importantly, because I'm selling it, so I want, I want it to be, I want it to look nice for who, you know, for whoever's getting this, so. All right, I'm just taking some, uh, like a grayed brown color real quick. Just getting some dirt on my palette here. Nice light color. And then I want to, so like tomorrow, You'll see, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put like these little background things in, like little background trees, like really, you know, light little indications, see? And then it's just very, very subtle, very light, but they're, they are there, I can assure you that. You know, just little things that people will see when they look at it, you know, and find all kinds of neat little things. And I'll probably pull some stuff up like this, but there's so much, you know, that there's so much that you can do, you know, with a painting. You just got to, you just got to, I don't even want to say focus. You just got to have fun. So I'm wiping my brush off real quick. So now I made these lines and I'll come back in here and I'll just maybe tap or just do a little swiping or whatever, like I was doing earlier. I, I like to distort everything. And I don't know why, but I just, I like to. It just kind of helps. It pushes everything back and, you know what I mean? It really helps. Kind of, you know, it, it could be something one person will say, oh, that's this, and another person will say that it's something different, you know? Um, let me see here. I get, I get carried away all the time, and I want to try something real quickly. I want to try one thing real quick because I really like light. I love messing around with light. That's something that I've been doing a lot uh, recently. So I want to just take a little bit of this, what is this, this greenish yellow color and some white. I just want to take a little bit of this and I want to see about putting a little bit of light on the top of, actually, you know what? Let me grab this tube of yellow real quick. I want to show you guys one more thing. I want to show you one more thing because I think it's interesting. This is something that I think everybody should be doing. You got to, you got to experiment with stuff. What do we got there? We got some yellow and white. Now I'm going to take yellow and straight white. Now here we go. Yellow, straight white. And I'm going to mix the two together. And I'm going to use, I think, you know what? I'm just going to grab a fan brush is what I'm gonna do. Here we go, fan brush. Boy, I swear I got these paper towels. They have paint all over them. By the time I get done, I have paint all over my face and everything. Here we go, here we go. So I got a fan brush. We got white and yellow. Now this fan brush is a little dirty. A little dirty, but that's okay. It's all right. White, yellow. This is a very bright color, and I have a lot of it on this fan brush. Now watch this. Here we go. This is something that everybody should be doing. The light's blasting in, and let's just say some of it's hitting. Some of it's going to hit 
in here, right? In some areas, okay? And you got to go through and pick these areas out. You got to pick them out. Don't rush. Just, you know, find them. Find these areas. Maybe it's hitting right before this tree. <clears throat> See? A little bit there, a little there, maybe some there. You know, not too much though, because you can definitely, you can definitely, you know, ruin the effect, okay? Just a few little areas of light. And then I'll go back in with, I'll go back in with this two inch brush here. And then I could even just soften, soften it. Just a tap here and a tap there. And that's it. You see? You could just soften it up. Make it grow right into these little, see these little rocks that I put in? You can make it grow into there. <clears throat> you know, it just kind of like helps. But see that little bit of light right there, just, I don't know, just kind of makes things stand out and does all kinds of stuff. So, so here's the deal. Got to make sure that you guys like this video. Make sure that you share this video. If you want me to do part two, three, or four, if you want me to do it on the live stream, I need all you guys to like this video because I'm about to end the live stream now for the night. It is midnight already. And I said I was only going for a half hour and that was at 10 p.m. So we've been going for two hours. So thank you guys for the donations. I really appreciate it. And um, like I said, like the video right this second and I will do the rest of this on the live stream. So super tired, gotta get out of here. Um, I'm not alone anymore. So uh, nobody's gonna kill me in the parking lot. And uh, we're gonna be good to go. So, all right guys, take care. I'm gonna end the live stream. I love all you guys and have a great day.